Hi everybody, this is Linda Faulkner. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator with Crafter Inspired at www.crafterinspired.com. Today I want to show you this cute crate filled with daisy note cards. This is something coming out in June. June 1st will be the release of the new 2017-18 Stampin' Up! catalog and that is one of the punches and the crate is one of the framelits that's going to be in that catalog. Uh, I just love this little set and let me show you how to make it. We're going to be starting with the crate. It's a little three-dimensional crate about one and a half inches maybe by four and it is made out of the Wood Textures designer series paper. This is a brand new paper coming out it's six by six, and this is the set, um, the particular piece that I used, but let me flip and show you. It has wood panels, just flat woods, all kinds of gorgeous pieces, and then some end pieces also. Lots of colors, browns and grays. So I'm using that set. If you'll notice, this does not have uh, the glue on the end of it to make it a pad. This um, year they are starting to leave these loose just like the designer series paper. So that will be an improvement I think for most of us. So I'm going to take my big shot and we're going to get started. You're not going to be able to see the whole big shot but I just want to show you the setup. I have my regular base plate platform, my thin die adapter, and then one of my clear plates. On top of that, I'm going to add my paper. The designer series paper is thick enough and sturdy enough for this crate. Uh, cardstock would work well also. Um, you have to be careful if you're using other papers. Some uh, scrapbook papers are not quite thick enough to hold up to the crate. So um, I recommend this Stampin' Ups paper. Okay, and then I'm going to get my die cut. Uh, the crate looks like this. I'm going to make two of them. And the only other piece I'm going to need is this tiny little tag uh, to tie on the end of it. So I'll set that in there and we'll run that through at the same time. I'm going to add my top plate. And we'll make a big shot sandwich. There we go. And then I'll run it through. I'll have to do the same thing. I'm in a strange angle here to turn it, so bear with me. There we go. And we're done. I'll want to run that through again with one more sheet of my designer paper so that I can get the other half of the crate. And it's going to look like this. comes out pretty easily. And if you'll notice, there's two little slip pieces, uh, two tabs, and then there's three score lines, one here, one here, and one here. So I'm going to take both of my pieces and get some, uh, you can use tape runner. If uh, you're gonna have a lot of pull on it, you might want to use a heavier fast fuse. I'm going to put tape runner on both of my end tabs and you want to do it on the outside the part that uh, matches the part of the crate you want to show you notice I have already folded my tabs so I can see those score lines okay. then the other thing you're going to need tape runner on is one side of the bottom on the inside so let me do a few there and that's going to hold the two bottom pieces together. Okay, to assemble it, oh, I didn't get my creases done. Let me do that real quickly. Tab and tab. And here's the other score line. All right, now we're caught up. So here's my tape runner. So I'm going to put the two bottom pieces together simply by matching the edges up. And pressing down. 
This goes together pretty easily. And then I'm gonna tuck those two tabs in. And I like to go ahead and get my straight corner by tucking the two tabs together and then folding the top piece in, just like that. And then you're going to press where the tabs are. Same thing on the other side. Get a straight edge. You can even set it down if that makes you happier. Get that straight edge and then simply close it up. And you've got your crate. That's all there is to it. So cute. Now, the next step, I'm gonna make my little daisy cards. This is coming from a new designer paper. It's 12 by 12 paper. It's called Delightful Daisy. And here's three of the designs from that paper that I decided to use. I'm using So Saffron Yellow as an accent piece for all three of them. And then some of the daisies are white, some of them are So Saffron. I had some demonstrators make this yesterday and they actually mixed them up and it made a really cute daisy where it would have both white and yellow petals. So you can make the flowers and the paper anything you want it to be. So you're going to start with a white cardstock that's three by six inches and then score it at three inches right down the middle. Fold it and then you can use a bone folder or your fingernails to make a really nice crease there. So there's the base for my card. The next piece that goes on is going to be the solid so saffron. And I wanted this to show mostly yellow. I didn't want much of my white card to sew. So you see how it's just a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. You can adjust that. I cut my so saffron to instead of the three inches like the card, it's two and seven eighths inches by two and seven eighths inches. So I just came in an eighth of an inch on each total, which would be a sixteenth on each side. Some people like a little more of the white card to show so you can um, adjust your measurements to that. I'm gonna lay it right there. Pretty darn close, not gonna be perfect. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same thing with my designer series paper. Isn't that the prettiest? Um, the back side is kind of a, a denim accent piece. There's six different designs, 12 sheets of paper in there. Just put a little strip of tape runner on each side and then center that. Easy enough. The more layers and the more texture you can use on a card, I think the happier you're gonna be with your design. And then finally, I'm gonna need three daisies. Uh, some people use one, some people use two. I like the look of the three. This is the Delightful Daisy Punch. I like punches still, even though I use framelits all the time because they're just so fast especially if you're doing it in a, in a group with others. It's so easy to share it. So I'm just gonna line up a strip of paper and punch where I can see my punch, see my daisy coming out. And that, see I've already done the other two, already taken care of that. So now I've got my three daisies. I need to get some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm gonna use a dimensional on all three of mine. It's up to you as to how much height you want on the front of your card. Center that and then grab another dimensional for my second daisy. And be sure that you make sure the petals are not right on top of each other. You want them to be um, right between the other two petals for each layer. Do the little press and do the third one. These come together so quickly. And this daisy is just elegant. I can see all kinds of things for this. Again, make sure your petals aren't lined up. So there I have my three petals. Uh, on top, I have punched um, a half inch circle. All right, here's a half inch circle. You can use, um, most of the time I would use the opposite color, so I would use yellow there. And then on top of that, I'm gonna put one of these gorgeous new, they're called 
gold faceted gems. Looks like that. They come in gold and in clear. So I'm going to pull one of those off and put it right in the center. And there you've got your pretty little daisy card. Let me show you the ones I've already made. Um, here's one with the yellow, and then here's the one with the white petals. So I did three of those cards and then tucked them in the little basket. And it just turned out really cute with the three envelopes that go with it. Now, on the side, you're going to want to add your little hello tag. So we have punched that. We're going to stamp it with hello. And I use this little stamp set called Thoughtful Banners. Looks like this. Lots of different choices for words. And um, then I just added the linen twine to tie it into a bow around the little handle on the side. Just as cute as it could be. Let me show you one other example of this that we made at on stage um, at the Stampin' Up! convention. And all they did was they did the same basket or crate, excuse me, and the crate was made out of one of the other sheets of paper that has more of a wood panel design to it. And this is just a regular Stampin' Up! bag and cellophane bag, and then they've just tucked the bottom corners up to give it a little three-dimensional effect and then tied it with some of the new copper ribbon, which is really pretty. Let me show you these cards. This is another example of how you could use the set. And instead of doing the little tab on the side, they use the linen thread uh, on the actual cards. And this is coming from a set called Wood Words. And it just has a cute little heart stamped with a sentiment. There's a rooster and then a little star. So they've taken the linen thread and, and tied it around the inside of the card to make a bow, and then use a little wood plank on the outside to decorate it. I hope you enjoyed this cute little project. Uh, can't wait to see all the things that you could make with it. Um, my name is Linda Faulkner. You can check out my website at www.crafterinspired.com. Happy crafting!